13 plus 7 is 20. Does anyone else think that's way too slow? Let me introduce you to the solution to all of our problems. 3 plus 7 is 20. What? This is the next frontier of math, pioneered by this man right here. Well, I'm not sure if it's his own revelation or if he is merely an apostle. At least he is where I uncovered this new age wisdom from. Tunnel is what this mess is called, and it is so revolutionary, it must have been gifted to him through gold tablets that were laced with DMT. Better than eco death, I guess. <laughs> If you couldn't tell, I have no idea about any of this. I am completely lost. Why is plus plugga? <laughs> I attempted to learn this a few weeks ago, but I never actually accomplished anything. I couldn't get past the basics. Just to practice, let's count to gun real quick. Fort front, free, free, four, five, free. So here I am. I'm gonna document my entire experience learning Hunnimal. So I hope that you are completely lost too, because my goal is to gain a full understanding of this math as fast as possible and teach it to you so we can both be cursed or blessed with knowledge. And hopefully after that, we can send this to the Department of Education to get this in every school across the nation. Call me Michael Vsauce. Not yet, not yet, but soon. For now, this is our Michael Vsauce. Please take your seats. I found this guy on TikTok and I have been running through his videos. Five plug of six is ski. But nothing is getting through to me. He is too high of a level Hunnamaler for me to understand. It's two twive, two fix, two gain, three toward. This is like a 501 class right here. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna have to find other materials if I have any chance of ranking up. Hopefully something that doesn't involve tilting my head around to read TikTok text for 30 minutes. This math is called Hunnamal, so I'm just gonna give it a Google search. See what we can come up with. They have a whole website? Huh. Yeah. This is eons better than what I was expecting. There's also a video of the history of Hanamal on YouTube. What if we monosyllabized the numbers? Initially, just zero could be zo and seven could be sev. 11 is no better than seven, it's worse. So if we went on to 99, we could make them all one syllable. From there came zo, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Zot, want, two, three, and four, and vine, six, vine, eight. Yes, I'm doing this to you. Well, turns out he is the inventor and no doubt he's the only user. I'm planning on being the second. So uh, there, that's one mystery solved. Hunnamal at its most basic is what you would get if you tried to take the entire decimal system and boil every number down into a one syllable Word. Let me explain. Okay, so I have a cheat sheet here on Hunnamal.org. They go through the number system 1 through 99. Numbers 1 through 10 are uh, zo, which is a little bit different from zero. Zero has two syllables. You got to shorten it to zo, I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Every number has one syllable. Zero and seven are two syllable numbers. So you gotta knock them out somehow. Those are the ones place. The tens place are twent, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, Svent gate night. Just like in the decimal system, which we're beyond. The preteens get a little bit weird. 10 is zot, 11 is aunt, 12 is tune, and then it gets normal. You have three and four and vine, snick, sveen, ain't, int. Okay, now that you have those two building blocks, you can make every number, one through 99, into a monosyllabic word. Think 29. Two, nine. The twenties start with twa and nine ends with ein. Put them together, twine. The underlying math stays the same as far as I know. This is purely a linguistic thing. The mathematical symbols are also different. Plus is plugga for some god forsaken reason. I mean, that's two syllables. What? Do I don't get it. Equals is shortened to is. Uh, multiplied is mega. So it's kind of like the dumb versions of this stuff, except for plus, that's plugga. And minus is a, uh, uh, something is going on here. Okay, these are my flash cards. I'm going to study for the first time in a long time. I feel like I'm in elementary school again, but this time I'm dyslexic. I have Gyne Aunt Noble Nutties, subscribe to the channel. If you would like to join the club, you could get all Hunnamal knowledge transported into your brain. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of studying and try and figure out as much as this as I can find out, and then I'm gonna do the quiz, and that will uh, test my knowledge. It's gonna be cool. This is gonna be awesome. All right, here is the test. I'm gonna try and do this honestly. What is five in decimal? Five is five, it's the same. The ones are the same, so I think it's five. Correct, awesome. 43 in Hunnamal, definitely free. 
Yeah. <laughs> 16. Oh my God, the teens are kind of crazy. An interesting thing I found about, about Hanamal, hello, is that after it's Hanamalized, the spelling sometimes gets changed to like a simpler English type spelling. 78, it's Svent and eight. What an awful, what awful handwriting I have. It gets like eight. It can't be S-V-E-I-G-H-T, I guess, because that would be too complicated for the mortal man's mind. So eight is like shortened to A-I-T, which is like 50 IQ spelling of eight. Um, what does that have to do with this? I saw three What is the answer? I think it's snakes. Yeah, it's snakes. Fifth. That's 55. Also an interesting thing, if they are the same number, then you tack like the first letter on the end. So like it's, cause it would be five I've, or like it would just be five then. So fifth, you kind of mirror it. And then it's a number with the same, it's like, you know, 55, 22. Yeah. Brian, one Ian ain't three. I have no idea. So Frying is 49. Ain't, what, what is that? I, I think ain't is decimal. I think he changed ain't. No, I think ain't is like division in this. So frying one in. I think one in is like 49,000 divided by three and 13. 49,000, I think it's three. I think it's 30,000. Oh, it was just, it wasn't math. It was just a number. What's one in? I thought this was, what would 18 be? I don't know. Okay, nine, eight, one, eight, 13, 98. Nate, because they shorten the spelling of eight. One Ian. One Ian's 18. Yeah, okay, okay. 82. Now this is easy. Goo. Anything with, anything that's two ends in two O's, except for nine, and it's it's still new, but they changed the spelling so that it's actually new, N-E-W, which is kind of weird. Goo. Oh, dude, I'm killing this. And it's safe to say that I'm not a very entertaining test taker. I actually had one pretty funny line. It's about to play right now. 80 is starts with G for some god awful reason. Gix is 86, easy. Score, other than that, I wasn't really quippy though. You know what I'm saying? But I locked in. This is insane to me. Like I actually know this. I was having the time of my life taking this test and you're, you're about to see my final score. I'll get out of your way. Snapshot my score right now. This is my score. I'm gonna go to, I'll go to 60 just to show you. Um, 31, run, 72, no, 62, 59, nine, nine is 89, four is four. Yeah, okay. 97%, I have this locked down to a science, to a science, dude. I have it, I have, mm, make me the apostle. I'm ready to go. Oh my God, this is awesome. Let's see how many questions there are in this. Yeah, it just goes on forever. If I get one, if I get 1,000 likes on this video, I'll do a live stream of me doing 1,000 questions on this test. How's it going? This is post-test Dylan. I'm kind of riding that high right now. I'll be chasing this dragon for a while, but I go on my phone and I think God's listening. I am now friends with this guy. He has friended me on TikTok. He followed me back. I'm feeling good. Most things in life aren't as simple as playing along with the mentally ill's delusions. I don't mean to go full H-bomber guy on you, but I fear I must. I don't have a black glove. <laughs> when do I get to start talking about gay sex? Who is Psychovery Hun? The best way to start is by saying something was going on there. I found this Reddit post on r slash deep into YouTube by someone who found this guy just like I did. Linking to a YouTube video that no longer exists and a channel that no longer exists. This was posted four or four Four is the same in Hunnamal. Years ago, this guy has a deep history on TikTok and YouTube, apparently. I moved back to the YouTube video of the history of Hunnamal that I thought was just an archive from TikTok from a troll account that has a disgusting name. You can probably fill in the blanks yourself. This isn't a re-upload channel. It's his channel. Check out Psychovery Hun's third most popular TikTok. I basically changed my name to the N-word, F-word, Tard. And now I can't say my name. That is his legal name, not even a pseudonym. He went to the government for this. He said, please, please, please put the N word on my ID, please. Oh, 
<laughs> and even if he is lying about this name, which I am like 99% sure he isn't, this is an evolution of a name that he already had from 2017. You can see it in the Pittsburgh Legal Journal. And that one, not, not much better. No, no, I don't think it's better. According to him, he did this in order to try and remove the negative stigma from these slurs and replace them with nothing, I guess. Names don't really carry connotations. It's kind of just a name. And coincidentally, most Dylans are very cool and fun to be around. Right, guys? Because they were and they were They were civilized and nonviolent and reasonable, but they were and they used the N-word inappropriately, but Jesus, it's like this guy only ever watched 2016 iDubs. How can something so innocent facing, like a mentally ill man renaming the number system, hide such a racist side quest? He has done blackface. I only used blackface to hide the fact that I had face tattoos. Aside from Hunimal.org, which we are very familiar with, he has another website, Zikzok that I discovered from his TikTok bio. You can probably guess what this is. It looks like a TikTok clone from the 80s before they invented any kind of stylization. I mean, look at this. We got mad at YouTube for getting rid of the dislike button. This guy implemented 12 metrics for videos. Connectivity, Delta V, entropy, fairness, height, kismet, monkey island, pork, singularity, woo, wavelength, zero crossings. How how does this keyboard DDR video score tremendously high on pork? This site is teeming with neo-Nazis and why wouldn't it be? This is the only place this guy can post a video about how he is upset that he can't say the N-word on TikTok because that is his name. The of zigzag.org is because you can't say and for I need to be able to say these very frustrating curses about existence, you know? The pain of existence forces upon me words of, of healing. You know, I need to heal my mind. You're really gonna ban me for saying my name. Come on, man. This is the goal with everything this guy does, to normalize racist language so he can finally comfortably kick back and say the N-word to the void that is the internet. What a dream. <laughs> This is a video hosting website, and from what I know about video hosting and websites is that it is expensive to serve a video to someone. I could bankrupt this guy right now by watching all of these videos on repeat for 48 hours. That Amazon web service bill is gonna be big. I think it could really help this guy's mental to go homeless. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Okay, but whenever I went back to Psycovery's TikTok page, I realized that there are now hundreds of videos that have like a hundred views a piece. And this is what they are. I need 5,000 people to click on for- 5,000 sounds like a lot. Fifth ton sounds like a little, but they're the same number. But one Ian is more still. So why not? Every single one of them for the past weeks, weeks this has been going on. He is asking people who are suffering in Gaza to learn Hunimal and only then will he support them. So I've promised a few people I'll pay them what they can count to, but they have to count in Hunimal and my limit is Hun. Whatever number they can count up to in Hunimal, up to a hundred. That's how much he'll send them. Other than that, he cracks jokes or is just angry about seeing these videos. Probably can't learn much Hanimal because there aren't enough of us trying to get him to learn it, but also because the rains took his tent and now he has nothing. He is asking us, the Hanimalers, do I want to be associated with this? To pay into a crypto called pig coin in order to get money to Gaza if they learn Hanimal. Yeah, I feel like he didn't mean a hundred dollars. He meant a hundred pig coin, which is maybe an eighth of a penny. It makes me so mad. I feel like I devoted the last weeks of my life to a lie. I thought this was the future, but Hunnamal is so strongly attached to the past, specifically the South in the 1800s and Germany in the 1940s. What a joke. What a joke this is. Hunnamal is useless and is only good for explaining things that are already explainable a fraction of a second faster to only the people who have spent hours of their life learning this stuff. Besides all of that, it is, it is created by someone who is awful and racist, or at least is promoting racism or is ignorant because you're ignorant doesn't make it okay. I reject Hunnamal. Return to decimal.
In the internet age, we do not need to write out numbers phonetically. We have the number keys for that. They're at the top of the keyboard. That's the kind of deep knowledge you get from a fourth grade computer class. For a Hunnimal font to work that they proudly advertise on Hunnimal.org, they're the numbers that are stacked on top of each other instead of side by side. It would need a keyboard that has 100 keys on it. It is purely a surface level change to math, language wise. I made a promise and there's one more thing I need to do. I will forget you. Okay, I can finally start talking about gay sex.